What is up guys, Dave back again for another trucking vlog and we are at the CFI Joplin terminal and uh, yeah, I got a new truck. <laughs> I got a new truck, it's windy out here guys. I hope you can still hear me pretty good. But uh, this is my uh, 2022 Kenworth T680, not brand new, but newer, you know, obviously it's 22. So, uh, I just wanted to say before y'all get going about, oh, Dave didn't like the Freightliner, Dave went and changed, he, he couldn't handle it. No, I honestly said nothing. I swear to y'all, I said absolutely nothing. I did make the first video being like, oh no, I got a Freightliner, etc. But uh, CFI contacted me a couple days ago and basically said, hey, we're going to bring you into Joplin and you're going into a Red Kenworth. And I'm like, Okay, and so I did what I was told. It came to Joplin, I didn't argue, and I got in the Kenworth. But I did not ask. I was going to give the Freightliner a uh, a solid try, you know? And I actually started to like it, guys. I won't lie to you. I mean, it was nice. It turned well. Uh, the interior was bigger, more roomier. It had the fifth wheel release. Like, I was actually, I was getting comfortable in it. And I was, I was enjoying it. I did not hate the Freightliner at all. Um, yeah, when I first got in and I wasn't sure because of some features that I missed on the Kenworth and everything But push come to shove they tell me I'm getting in this one I'm gonna get in this one, you know, that's what they told me to do So, uh, yeah, I posted some pictures on YouTube and my Instagram and Snapchat uh, basically Showing y'all the picture of when I was switching trucks and I had both doors open and both trucks next to each other and uh, the crappy thing was I filmed a lot of that for y'all first getting into this truck everything this stupid GoPro, these new GoPros, it went into time warp mode, which is where it's just like a time lapse with no sound. It's super sped up. The sound just is not there. Uh, it's happened to me before and I've lost some footage. It's if you press a certain button on the freaking GoPro, it does that. And it drove me nuts. I lost that whole video. All of it was gone from when I first saw this truck, backed in next to it, all that. I was trying to show y'all at the same moment that I got it. Um, anyways, but yeah. Just wanted to make that clear. I did not request this. CFI said they wanted me in this. That's what I got into. But I was pretty happy in the Freightliner, honestly. I was getting used to it. It does back nicely. The turn radius is nice. It's smooth. It doesn't have the jumping that the Kenworth has. So I was enjoying it. I was enjoying it. But they wanted to put me in a Kenworth. I didn't argue. You know, I like the Kenworth. And that's what happened, man. So anyways, uh, um, anyways guys, so yeah, here she is. She's nice and cleaned up. Looks really good. Tires are cleaned up. Wheels are cleaned up. No damage on her. I uh, already looked her all over. It has a big catwalk here. When I first saw the catwalk, I was like, wait a minute. They ain't gonna have me pull no reefer now. I ain't pulling no reefer now, CFI. We ain't, we ain't getting into all that. But I noticed that all of these that are coming um, have these on them now. And this is actually an old Transport America truck, to be honest with you guys. Um, the ones that start with a seven are Transport America. There's some features missing on the interior, right? That Transport America didn't opt in for that CFI does. We'll go over that when I get in the truck in a little bit. Um, this also has the wheel covers on. They make it look really good. They really do. But uh, whenever you want to check your uh, wheels and everything, you obviously got to take them off, which I already tested this. Basically, you just uh, press this here, turn. Oh, shoot. Hold on. There we go. Turn like that. And as you can see, it pops right out. And then, bam, you can check and make sure, you know, everything's good. Um, and then you just put it back in there and then it turns and boop pops back out and they're there so if any of y'all get trucks like this that's how you do it it's pretty self-explanatory there was a big button that says push i just figured it out too because i never used it um but yeah everything cleaned up pretty nicely um these glad hands are really nice um these are newer so that's really nice and then oh i need a key And then we got our uh, our good old extended under bunk area here. These, when I was transferring trucks, I forgot them in my fridge. And I was like, crap! And I was about to take the other trucks, so I just threw them in here. They're, they're legit green tea citrus, guys, I promise. That's all it is, it's, it's, it's green tea citrus, okay? They Look, they haven't even been opened yet. Uh, promise. <laughs> 
<laughs> they look like something else the whole thing, but they're not. Um, yeah, so I got, let's not forget that. Uh, fire extinguisher is also under here now in these Kenworths, rather than under there. Uh, got my straps. I bought this online, actually. Um, Needed me one of these in case a customer didn't have one and I had a bolt seal because I've had that happen before. So I love having some bolt cutters. Um, you see this? This is a fifth wheel puller. You guys are probably sitting there like, Dave, man, you're gonna miss that automatic fifth wheel release. Well, don't get too ahead of yourselves, boys. Uh, I got some tools. Oh my, ugh, whole bunch of tools and crap in here. Yeah. It's just my tool bag with the uh, ratchets and sockets and everything else. It's my good ratchet, man, my icon. That was like a $50 ratchet. All right, um, yeah. So on the other side, I have um, wash fluid, oil, and coolant that I already grabbed from the shop. So that's that. Let's keep this baby locked. And um, what else was different on this one? I think that's about it, guys. Then I could show you the interior. Also on this Kenworth, we have these lights, man. Those utility lights, which go down the trailer and are really bright and are really good for when you need to see when you're doing landing gear or walking between tra trailers, whatever the case may be. Um, and then the two utility lights up there that go back. Uh, oh, sliding fifth wheel. This is a sliding fifth wheel. So um, just like the Freightliner had, I have not tried to slide it yet, um, <clears throat> but we do have a sliding fifth wheel. So I can play around with that. <laughs> you see where the guys clean the bags and they just kind of like, eh, all right, that's pretty good. <laughs> Looks good from the back. We'll just leave it there. And yeah, tires and everything look great. Like they're good. All good, man. All right, let's go check out the inside, what everybody always wants to see. So, first off, <laughs> this seat is way too low. The other one sat up higher. This one's, I'm way lower than I should be. And I'm 5'7". Right, I've told y'all that before. I'm not the tallest guy. And, man, <laughs> I wish I was just like, this seat would go up just a couple inches higher. I would be happy. Let me do something with these freaking green tees real quick. Let's just throw them up here for now. It'll be fine. We're not going anywhere. I'll put them in the fridge in a minute. So, we're back at a Kidworth now, and I got it somewhat set up. I'm still working on it. Uh, New York Hut sticker here. Got my GPS mounted here uh, with some Velcro. It works. Um, it's kind of stable. It's a little more... It's not as flush as the Freightliner was, but it's pretty decent. Uh... Let's crank the truck up because I'm hot. All right, so as you can see, everything here is about the same, except we have some controls on the steering wheel now. So if you remember, my old Kenworth had no controls on the steering wheel, but the Freightliner did. Well, guess what? Now the Kenworth has controls on the steering for your cruise control and your music and all that stuff. So that's a really nice feature that they added. Also, the Freightliner had a left armrest that my Kenworth didn't. Well, now I have a left armrest right here. <laughs> so they added that. My Freightliner had an automatic fifth wheel or kingpin release. Guess what? Kenworth added it along with the sliding fifth wheel, like I said. All of that's there. My radio has Bluetooth. The Freightliner did not have Bluetooth. That radio did not. I promise y'all, before y'all try to argue with me and say, I actually didn't know, no, whatever, whatever radio they put in there, it had auxiliary, that was it. It was not a Bluetooth compatible thing because I Googled it. So I'm happy to have my Bluetooth back. Um, and these seats are a lot nicer. Y'all just look at these seats, man. Look at them. They're a lot more comfy too. Armrests are a lot nicer. That cloth armrest would kind of, you know, irritate your arm after a while having them on there. So the fact that they're like a faux leather it's kind of nice um what else am i thinking that i want to show y'all got the cb back boy you know i had to have the cb and you know the turn cams going up in this truck uh we got our camera system here what i like the cfi is doing now guys is a lot of people don't like the fact that there's a camera on them all the time. I didn't like it either when I was in my truck, okay? I didn't talk about it much, but I didn't like that there's a camera sitting there with the lens and everything facing me the whole time. 
CFI will tell you in orientation the cameras are not on, okay? They, they're not on, only if you get caught using your phone, right? If you get caught using your phone by, I guess, CFI or DOT or whatever, cops, they will turn that camera on on you to make sure that you're not doing something wrong. Well, the lens was still there, it was still there, and you know, obviously a lot of people just don't trust it. Now, there's a piece of tape over it that says inward lens deactivated. So there's a piece of tape over the lens, so you don't have to worry like, oh man, you know, is somebody looking at me or anything? There's tape on it. And as long as you don't get caught doing what you're not supposed to do on a phone while you're driving, that will stay turned off, basically. And they also say it's not filming like period anyways. Even if the tape wasn't there, it doesn't film. That's what they tell us. Um, you know, take that for what you want, but I like the tape on there, 100%. All right, so we're gonna come back here and we have a Kenworth refrigerator now. The other Kenworths didn't have a refrigerator in it, but I think since this came from Transport America and was purchased recently, it has a refrigerator in it. The handle was broken, but they have this on here where you can still unlatch it and pull it out and you have a little fridge here. So that's kind of nice to store something. God, that thing needs to be cleaned, don't it? <laughs> that needs to be cleaned really bad. Old Dave's got to get on that because uh, I ain't really messed with it much yet or put nothing in there. We'll definitely have to clean that. So it has that. Um, the clothing shelf, same thing. Uh, here's what I don't like now. Here's the microwave section, right? The old Kenworth that I had that CFI purchased, they opt to give you two AC outlets here, and then you add some AC outlets down here. So you had AC outlets kinda, you know, to be able to use for your microwave. Well, this just comes freaking stock with a 12 volt here. So, you know, what microwave do you know of that plugs in with a freaking 12 volt? No. So what I have to do is I have to get an extension cord and like run it um, from the inverter over somewhere whether you know you run a long one around the whole thing or you go through the floor and cover it up i don't know and then mount like a power strip to be able to plug in the microwave and everything else probably my laptop so then the cord's not going across the floor like it is now um and all that stuff so that will be really nice when i get that um done so then i can actually use my microwave because it's just sitting up there it's just like a cheap walmart 700 watt microwave because i heard the freight liner one was really small and people were recommending to get a small microwave so that's why i did that um so yeah other than that everything is exactly the same as my kenworth before was with you know the exception of a couple of added features and i just feel completely at home in here like even more so than the freightliner even though i like the freightliner i was getting used to it i was getting comfortable with it i was enjoying it you know i'm not lying to you i didn't hate the freightliner i never told them once i'm not going to drive this truck put me in a kenworth no i wouldn't do that i'm going to drive what they tell me to drive and i was going to drive the freaking freightliner but they had other plans for me so they called me and told me you know no we're going to put you in this so that's what dave did um up here i actually have my chair i have to assemble it i haven't had a lot of time i've been pretty busy and it's been on the back burner but my chair that i'm going to use with this desk which as i showed y'all before swivels got me some new sheets <laughs> that's why they're all like uh wrinkly um anyways kind of swivels like that so you got more room in here we need to walk and then when you want to use it you can swing it out like this and then uh yeah usually i'll have me a little chair well usually i put my garbage can behind my uh driver's seat but because of that inverter, this one's not really gonna fit. Um, I might have to get a smaller garbage can, but I would usually have my chair pushed up under here and then I could pull it out and I'd kind of sit right here. Kind of enjoyed that. Um, what else I got up here? Got my dirty clothes. This bag is empty. Bunch of shoes. Um, I got uh, I got quite a bit of shoes, man. I, I, probably, I probably got uh, more shoes than a woman does, to be quite honest with y'all, you know? I, I like shoes, I buy quite a bit of them. Uh, I usually have about four or so on the truck at any given time. Um, and then I usually end up getting more if I get somewhere out on the road. I got more shoes. I, just, I like shoes, man, what can I say? I like them. Uh, so yeah, and here's the inverter on off. It took me a second to realize this. I'm like, looking down on the inverter, I'm like, where is the uh, on switch? It's not on top, it's not on bottom. And uh, if you follow this up here, there's an on button right there. And I didn't even notice it before. Didn't even realize that was how you turned on the freaking inverter, man. So yeah, guys, that's it. This is the Kenworth. Um, I got it pretty much all set up and 
It's not too shabby, man. It's not too shabby. I'm pretty happy with it. The only thing I gotta say, probably, literally the only thing, or the only two things that um, kind of sucks is the no AC outlets and how how low the seat sits. I don't know why, but they they made the seat not go as high. And watch when I sit down, it goes down. Like I go almost all the way to the ground and then it slowly lifts me back up, but this is as high as it goes. And if I was to guess, I was probably sitting about right here before, but now I'm kind of way down here. It might be better for views on the camera. I don't know, but yeah, man. <laughs> See if the yard jockey says anything to me. Thought for a second he might ask me what I'm doing sitting here because this isn't a place you usually sit, Bobtail. But I wanted somewhere quiet to do this video with y'all, show y'all the truck. And I like the Freightliner too, though. Like I said, I did not, I did not dislike it at all, man. The, and and I think somebody asked me in the comments. It was like, Dave, which do you like better, the Freightliner or the Kenworth? I was like, honestly, they both had their pros and cons. There's pros with the Kenworth, the Freightliner didn't have. And there's pros with the Freightliner that the Kenworth didn't have and vice versa with the negatives and the cons, you know? There was a lot of things that was better for one that wasn't for the other. So, yeah, it's just how it worked. I feel like I'm in the way. Let's go move. He saw my camera on earlier when he passed and then when he came this way, he was looking really hard. So he's probably wondering what the heck I'm doing. Oh well, he can wonder. All right, let's get out of here. Still got my green tees on the dash. I forgot to take them off. I just want to get out of this freaking yard dog's way. Before he gets mad at me, man. Like, what are you doing? I'm filming. I'm making a video, man. I'm trying to be the quiet part of the yard where nobody is. <laughs> I wonder if that's the Michaels trailer that uh, had the door mishap. <laughs> oh, no. Man, that was my only blemish, dude. That's the only thing. And you know what sucks about that? Is it went on my DAC report as a backing incident. It did. I mean, just that one. Because I noticed that, you know, when I was looking for the other jobs with like that day cab job and stuff, you know, which it doesn't keep me from anything, but it still sucks that it's there. Because that's the only thing that happened, dude. The only thing in my ear and a half. I never, like, backed into a truck or a trailer or scraped nothing or anything. The only thing that happened was I'm looking in my right mirror. The freaking left trailer door pops off the bungees and the hook and everything else and swings behind the trailer. And I'm just backing, backing, backing. And I don't notice it because, you know, whenever you secure your doors, they're secure. They're there, you know. And I was concentrating on what I was doing and pushed that door. For those of y'all that didn't see it, I then, you know, the, tra the trailer door swung behind the trailer sticking straight out. So I couldn't see it, you know, I was like the door is disappeared. And I'm backing and I pushed that door into the uh, dock. And uh, it ripped, I want to say like two hinges off of the door because it got smashed into it, you know. The door was still good. It's just the hinges got ripped off and they're made that way to break away easily to keep from damaging other things. And uh, yeah, and that was like the one mishap I had. I'm still pissed about it. And I'm pissed that it's on my DAC report is backing, but stuff happens, I guess. Most of y'all were pretty chill about it. Most of y'all were like, uh, I remember back when it happened, most of the comments were like, Dave, you know, stuff like that happens, man. Then all y'all tell me the stories of things that happened to y'all too, you know, that, you know, whether you did this or that or a trailer dropped or I don't know, just anything or you scraped it, I don't know, whatever. You know, you took out a street sign, whatever. You know, everybody tells me all these little things that happened and saying, you know, even safety at CFI told me that it was fine. It was like, oh, that's just normal crap that happens. We're gonna put it down as faulty equipment. And, uh, you know, we're not too worried about that. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. So most of y'all are really cool about it too. It was like, Dave, don't beat yourself up about that. Like it could have, you, you, you could do a million things worse than that, you know? It made me feel pretty good, but it was always a couple people like, oh my God, he should be fired. I don't know how he still has a job. I do like, dude, it wasn't 
that big of a freaking mishap. Like, God dang. Some of y'all just freaking you roll over a curb slowly and y'all think that somebody should be fired or something dude like calm down bro it was a mishap i'll give it that it was my fault i owned it but dang man I ain't like i took out the front of a truck you know what i mean or jacked up a trailer or anything i just kind of well i did jack up a bit like back into a trailer <laughs> but let's take a spin to a foreign place these open highways are calling our name and now it's time for us to escape escape to a world we don't know escape into the great unknown escape to a world we don't know escape into the great unknown